Over the past year, I've been living in Budapest, Hungary as a digital nomad. Now, notice that I said Budapest and not Budapest because that is how it's actually properly pronounced. But anyways, everybody always asks me what I love so much about living here. So I figured I would just make a video on it. So one of the things that I really love about living here in Budapest is the safe seat. I remember when we first moved here, we went out to eat with a group of friends and after we were done, we're like, all right, see you guys, nice to see you, be safe. And they said, why do we need to be safe? Is there anything going on that we need to be aware of? And that just opened my mind up to just how safe it really is living here. I've asked a lot of people if they even had anything stolen from them. And they're like, no, why would someone, you know, take my things, whereas in the United States, someone has either gotten their house broken into, their car broken into, or you've definitely got your phone or computer or something stolen from you. A lot of the times when people are at cafes or just in public, they will leave their phones or their laptops. There's a lot of the, the women that I know, they feel very safe walking at night and the city is very lit up at night. So you're not just walking in the dark. And so one of the things that I really like living here in Budapest, especially that I'm living here with my wife and our daughter, is that it is a relatively very, 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 very safe city. Another thing that I really like about living here is the affordability, especially being somebody that makes their money in USD. And so me and my wife can go out to eat at a really nice fancy restaurant that in the United States would probably cost 100, maybe even $200, depending on where you go. But here in Budapest, we can go to a really nice restaurant, get two meals, a dessert, maybe some other things and drinks. And it's probably only going to be around 40 to maybe even $50, depending on where you're going. We can take a taxi there and back. And that's typically only around three to $5 each way. And the living expenses for our apartment or flat, like they call it here, is very affordable as well. So we were living in one of the most popular parts of the city center, one bedroom, really nice place. And it was only around $800 per month. And so living here is very, very, very affordable, but you still get really good quality for the things that you're paying for. Another thing that I really like about living here is the architecture. It's just such a beautiful place to be. The way that all the buildings are designed and it's not just the city center as you walk all over the city it's just really beautiful really breathtaking and the way that they light everything up at night is it just it, it's like pictures don't even do it justice i try to send my friends photos and videos and although they look good just seeing it in person is unmatched so this city is just so beautiful that it just literally makes you want to take walk all the time now we can just explore different parts of the city and just admire how beautiful it really is to live here another thing that i really like about living here is that it's modern there's other places that i've lived and been in the world that are very cheap but as you look around it makes sense because they pretty much have nothing but that is not the case here in budapest it is very modern you will sometimes see taxis that are Teslas. Uh, for some reason, people in America always ask if they have Wi-Fi and cable. Yes, they have all those different types of things. There's the malls, the malls are very nice. And so just pretty much all of the things that you would expect in a modern uh, city in the United States, they have that here. And in some cases, it's more and it's better and it's a higher quality. And so for some reason, we don't really like to show other cities in the United States and how modern they are and we think Everything, for some reason, is a third world country that's outside of the United States. And I will tell you, living here, that is not the case. It is a very, very uh, modern city and very up to date with most things. Now, another thing that I like is that this city is extremely walkable. Pretty much anywhere that we need to go, whether that's grocery shopping, to the mall, running errands, meeting up with friends, going out to eat, whatever, you can get there just by walking. Everything is pretty much within like a 20 to 30 minute walking distance at the most, at the max, right? And for those times that you don't want to walk, they have really, really, really good public transportation. So they have uh, trams, they have buses, they have the underground, they have the subway, all of these different types of public transportation. They even have some buses and boats that go onto the water that you can even take, right? There's really, really good public transportation here. So getting around easily and going to where you want to go is not a problem at all. And that takes me to the next thing that I really like, which is how clean it is here. I remember being nervous to get on public transportation before I started traveling because 
Whenever you see public transportation in the United States, like in New York, it is extremely dirty. There's graffiti and pee and homeless people all over it. And it just seems like this dangerous place where you're going to get mugged, kidnapped and killed. But here, the city is so clean. Whenever you're walking around, you usually don't even see trash on the ground. And when you are in the public transportation, it is very clean. You don't have a lot of people trying to tell to you. And there's definitely not a lot of pee in there. And it is just overall a very, very, very clean city to be in. Now, this next thing that I like is probably my favorite, which is the cafes and restaurants. There are just so many to choose from here that if you go outside, and you walk for just five or 10 minutes, you're gonna run into so many options from Hungarian to Turkish to Indian to seafood to pretty much you name it, vegan, whatever they have it, right? You walk five, 10 minutes and you're gonna run into so many different options and they're so good. I found so many good coffee shops that I can go and I can uh, work from. There's so many restaurants that we like to take friends from. And so I just love how there's so many options and they're just all so close within such a small radius. Now, another thing that I really like about being here from my personal experience is the people here are very friendly. Now, they're not like Americans where they're just gonna be like, hey, how's your day? And just spark up a conversation. But once you get to know them, they are extremely friendly. They do wanna invite you out to eat. They wanna pay for your dinners if if they can. They wanna invite you to go explore different parts of the city. They wanna help you explore and learn more about their culture. They wanna introduce you to their language and they just really wanna have a good time. And from what I've noticed is they're not trying to do anything behind your back. They have your best interests at heart and they're not just trying to you know, be shady or do something that is just going to hurt you for no reason. Another thing that I really like about living here, especially being a digital nomad, is the co-working scene, especially one place in particular called Captor. And this is where I have met so many friends and so many people that I hang out with. And they just have a really, really, really good culture for building a community. And so I have done events here. We have hosted get togethers here and they just have a really cool space where you can go, you can get work done, but you can also network and meet other digital nomads and other people that are working remotely. And it's just a really cool place to be. And so going to cap there has helped me one, get a lot of work done because it's a space that I can go to just focus on my work instead of just being inside all the time. But it has also provided me with a really cool community to meet a ton of people. And one more thing that I want to mention that I really love about living here in Budapest is how close it is to other countries. It's really easy for us to go to London or go to Vienna or fly to Spain or Portugal. Or you can even get to Italy or France. All of these countries are very close and some you can take a car to like Croatia or Vienna or you have like Bulgaria or they have transportation, they have trains that you can take, or you can take planes to these different countries. And it's only like two hours and it only really costs like $50 or sometimes a hundred. Like, I really like making this our hub because of all the other things that I mentioned, but it also makes it very easy for us to travel and visit these other countries as well. All right, so if you've ever been to Budapest, let me know in the comments and also let me know what your experience was like and what are some of the things that you like most about it as well. Also, if you want to know how I ended up in Budapest, Hungary in the first place, because people are always asking me that as well, it's actually a really crazy story. It's not something I even planned on doing. It just ended up happening. And so I did a video on that crazy story. And so I will make sure that my team links you to that video. That way you can check that out as well. As always, I appreciate you tuning in. Hopefully this inspires you to go and check out Budapest for yourself one day. If you haven't already been, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you on the next one.